Hey, 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 everybody, this is 3-Minute Marketing. Th this video, we're going to talk about landing pages that convert. How to make a landing page that converts. All right, so now that you have a landing page set up, people are visiting your site, but for some weird reason, all right, for some weird reason, just, no one's just signing up. No one is buying your offer. No one is signing up. No one is downloading that free ebook you are offering. Now, what should you do, right? Flip some tables, throw a tantrum. Nope, nope, nope. So just, just hold up, calm down, not yet, and let's see what you could do. So, you don't just want visits. That's the number one rule with landing pages. So, getting a lot of traffic, awesome, right? Everybody's going to love that. But, but. Getting visits should not be your be all and all. And you want people to take action. So if you have the traffic, you want those people who's visiting your site to take action. Because taking action on your landing page means that this particular person is interested in what you have to offer. So you should have that purpose, whether it's to sign up, like your Facebook page, or something like that, click on a link. The focus of your landing page should be to get that action. And of course, just make it easy and compelling. Your action should be easy to understand so that anyone, anyone in your audience would be able to do it. So it's, it's it could be as simple as watch this video. So finish watching this video. Click here. Sign up here to get your ebook. Uh, you know, sign up here to get that free shipping. Uh, sign up here to get that free dessert or something like that. You know, sign up here, free coffee on your next visit to our store. So it really depends on on what your business is, on what your industry is. But of course, <clears throat> you gotta make it count. Right? You gotta make it count. You gotta convert your audience. So what you need is a clear call to action. This has got to be the number one thing that you gotta remember. Your page should have that clear call to action. Just one. You know, you could repeat it, but you know, it should be just if it's download the ebook, it should be just download the ebook and not, you know, not another one that says watch this video. So make it prominent, and clear as well. And of course, you want to have a relevant offer. The offer should be relevant to your audience so that, you know, there's that connection. So remember, you don't want to give out a free ebook on creating websites if you're selling coffee, right? Of course, you need an effective headline and you need the features and benefits, all right? You need to highlight what they're going to get if, you know, if they're going to take you on your offer. All right, so some call to action tips here. So show them where people can see them. Use visual cues like arrows, all right? Make it visually appealing. Repeat uh, if necessary. So for the relevant offer, so Consulting agencies can offer a free 30 minute consult. E commerce can offer a discount coupon, free ebook downloads for online businesses, and still instill a sense of urgency. So, have, have a deadline, have a deadline, you know. Uh, make, like for a consulting agency, free 30 minute consult, but you know, it's going to end this weekend, something like that. You know, that's going to work, that's going to have that sense of urgency, and people start to contact you. And for effective headlines so you can make sure the headline stands out visually so just like the example here at the bottom use plain language all right and get the reader to be interested in what you do and of course you know, direct them to your call to action and of course with the features and benefits so you make sure your list doesn't distract from the call to action CTA that's call to action use icons and pictures just to make it uh, easily understandable describe how your offer can help your visitor and include pain points if necessary so that you know uh, that way you can tell you know your audience that your offer would be able to help them make their lives easier so just just remember that when you're when you're building your pages how to make uh, the lives of my audience easier now, how am I going to relay that uh, into my page? Because that's really, really important. So, again, that's it. I am going to see you guys next time on the next edition of 3-Minute Marketing.